Hello, everybody. Duke Kelway with you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the key state, uh, as we're here for Grindhouse tonight. And uh, we got a heck of a, we should have a heck of a card here tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. And with, with me joining along in uh, Philadelphia, I'm sorry, we're in the Keystone State, but it's not Pittsburgh. It's, Pen it's Philadelphia at the old ECW Arena. Hello, folks. Ali Govea here from uh, Philadelphia. Man, this is a piece of history we're looking at right here, this uh, ECW arena, isn't it, Duke? Indeed it is. Some of the great moments that happened here during that ECW decade from 93 to uh, 2001. We're gonna, and, oh, wait a minute. Look who showed up here. Oh, my God. She just got back from the WCW card yesterday. What's going on here? And why is she using our platform? I don't know, but she is an MSW alumni. Oh, yeah, I, I you know what? I agree with that. I know. Shouldn't she be at home rusting? Good question. Patel was a little banged up. They found out she had some cuts, scrapes, and bruises on her face. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, well, Marcus is talking about he's going to see Frankie's going to see a guy that's not going to be happy. I wonder why. Yeah, I guess we'll find out later. Who knows? <sighs> I wonder what's dealing with that whole situation from yesterday when he was guest commentator on that uh, uh, uh for Halloween Havoc. Uh, you know, I oh wow, this. I wonder what she's got to say. Let's get the ring right now. Let's hear what uh, Fatal's got to say. Oh, wow. Look at it. She's banged up. She's got her arm bandaged. Wow. Not really happy, Ron. Uh, and I wouldn't blame her. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad to see she's doing all right. Uh, they said she managed to escape to the kidnappers. Yeah, I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, wow. And Fatal acknowledging the fans here. I am not happy. I'm going to tell you what right now. You know, it's a miracle I'm still alive. Look at me. I got cuts, scrapes, and bruises on my face. And as you see, my arm is bandaged. And I'm scraped on my arm for Christ's sake. But you know what? I'm worried about still one more person that is not here with us right now. And that's Scott. He is uh, still kidnapped by the kidnappers. And you know what? I, I, you know what, I heard Frank Castle saying it was fake news. You know what, shove it up your tail, Frank. It's not fake news. I see what happened. God's sake, I seen the chunk of skin that was taken out of Scotty. And I'll tell you that much right now, it's very frightening. I'm worried for him, for Christ's sake. I don't, he's not going to be a saint. And you know what the reason why I kicked Melody's tail yesterday was? She was a callous. It's all her freaking fault. And I'll tell you that much right now. Castle, you know what? You better get down the investigation because I know the Foreman kids are not involved in that. I guarantee you right now. I heard voices when I was tied up there at that place. I heard voices. Well, wait a minute. We got some company here. I guess we got somebody... Either welcoming or confronting. And there is Jade. Wow. Jade Call, who's a good friend of Fatal's. <laughs> Georgia, I'm just glad to see you're okay. What's going on? Are you alright? Where, where's Scotty at? Where is, everybody wants to know where, what's going on. Uh, you know what, man? Uh, you know, I know you're a little banged up, but I'm glad to see you're doing okay. Yeah. I had to come, uh, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, Jade, I thank you for your concern and everything, but you know what? It's horrible. I'm going to tell you what. Right now, they still have them. Everybody, you know, I got all kinds of questions asked from Django today. He was asking me how many were there. There's about at least three or four. And one of those voices that I hear, I heard a female, but it was not Angie Beth or uh, Mandy. Yeah, I heard they were being withheld for, I heard they were arrested for withholding information and, as uh, Castle claimed and uh, everybody else. And it's like Django's, Django's basically trying to get the charges cleared on them right now. And uh, was it, uh, you know, I'm glad to see you're doing all right, but could you remember anything about the house or anything? God, 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 oh, oh, gosh, almighty, I'll tell you what, I'm going to mention something right now. The house was dingy. There was hardly any furniture except there for a chair, a bed, some handcuffs, and, uh, God, you know, the hair, hair Scott's uh, yelling pain while they're cutting that chunk of skin out of him was horrible. Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, uh, Georgia. You know what, anytime you need a, you know what, how, you know what, uh, oh gosh, how did you uh, get out of there basically? I don't, you know, you gotta let me know. I'm, lo I'm looking out for you. Luckily enough, I was able to get one burst of energy to kick out of there and get out of the house. And then I called Maya up, told her where I was at, Thank God the uh, police let me use the phone over there. Wow. You know? Do you know where this house is at? We need we need to give you information. You know, that's the thing about it. I hate it when Frank Castle said it was fake. Because you know what? I knew you were I knew that was a real fatal because the the fake fatal would not fight like that. I'm glad you got my back. I'm, I'm, thank you. Thank you very much. I got to feel, you know what? I could have swore Melody was in on it. I heard some words about insurance policy and also if they would get rid of Scotty, her and her cousin would split it. I could have swore I heard that. What? Are you saying, are you saying what I think I'm saying? I know who your cousin is. Oh my God, I know who her cousin is. You know what? We need to, we need a basic, you need basically tell this, to, did you tell this to Django already? Did you tell this to Django, huh? You need to tell him, you need to tell him, Fatal. Wow, what the hell? Did she just implemented uh, Rage's nephew in that bunch? I think so. We haven't heard the name exactly, but oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, first, uh, we're, first match we're starting off with tonight is the uh, champ, the the. Uh, Final match before the winners because the winners of this matchup will get to go in the next uh, segment in a match against Tag Team Titles. Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you that much right now. And now Frank Castle and Fatel are having words in the back. Oh my God. I guess Frank Castle's trying to claim that uh, her head is shaved. Duke, I'm going to tell you what. Bounty hunters have no credibility. You know what you heard about them. The, bounty, the problem with bounty hunters, like Joe Kenny said, is that they do anything to get their job done. I mean, they go with aggression and everything else. Did you ever watch Dog during the day? Yeah, I think I have, uh, Allie. Yeah, right now, I'll tell you what. 
This is going to get interesting tonight as this show goes on. And Marcus is going to go talk to Frankie about his match tonight. But I'll tell you what right now, Duke. We got the Bucks against Moxley and Kingston. And we got, I guess, Ken Rusnick's in the back. Hello, folks. Ken Rusnick back here. And I am here with uh, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston about uh, tonight's match against the Bucks. But I need to ask you something, uh, John. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go, yeah, go ahead. What you got to ask me? Is it true that you and uh, Kingston have joined an alliance with Matt Bennett and Gina Carano and uh, known as the majority? Do, let, let, can I explain something to you, Kenny? What goes on in Shockwave stays in Shockwave. What goes on in Must See Wrestling stays in Must See Wrestling. And well, you know what's going to happen here in Must See Wrestling tonight? Tell him, Eddie. I'll tell you what right now. You know what? We're going to beat these young bucks tonight, and then we're going to climb to the top in the next segment and beat the Wolfpack for what should be ours, and that is the MSW Tag Team title. Let's get the ring, Johnny. All right, man. Take care, Ken. All right, guys. Take care. Back to you. And right now, here comes the Young Bucks. Coming down the ring, Matt and Nick Jackson. Well, it looks like Kazarian and uh, Cass are shaking hands here right now on this one. I guess it does. Kazarian's not, I mean, uh, Cass is not feeling really happy about something. I'm pretty sure Kazarian's gonna get his is gonna get uh is gonna give uh Cass his best tonight. No doubt about it. And there is Moxley and Kingston late for this one. We are in Grindhouse, we are in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are at the ECW arena. Indeed we are, Duke. This this is gonna be a good night tonight. And right now we see uh, Kingston and Moxley. They're looking for a little revenge for that AEW tag team title match they had with uh, the Bucks a while ago. Yeah, they did, definitely. That was a match that put Moxley out of action for a while after those V triggers to the head. And Fatel says they did take some strands off her head, but they didn't, they didn't shave her. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess Fatel says they did take some strands. They managed to cut some of her hair. Yeah, Fatel's hair was really long. No doubt about it. Yeah. I'll admit to that much. Yeah, from what I heard, uh, Patel talked to me earlier about this, and she says that she managed to get out of there with one burst of energy while uh, I guess one of the kidnappers was was keeping an eye on her, and the other uh, two or three were uh, basically uh, manhandling tonic, and basically uh, got out of there. She uh, managed to get to a police station. They managed to pull over and uh, basically Maya picked her up. Oh, that's bad news. I guess they moved out. I guess they went to the house that Fatal was at, and uh, but they moved. They seem like they moved. Oh my God. Yeah, you definitely got. You know, I definitely do. I definitely do some respect Shockwave Wrestling. No doubt about it. You know. I mean, I don't know what's going on in the guys' head over there. I mean, like, for an example, with Matt, uh, not wanting to defend the ever prestigious world titles, but uh, right now, you know what? I still respect them because I respect, uh, there's a couple of good friends of mine, and Max Cruz and Ray Little. Yeah, Max and Ray are great uh, people, no doubt about it. Great, Scott Tonic is still missing but from what we heard, and I guess Castle Rusted won. Oh, Sunset Flip Powerbomb. Matt going for the pin on uh, Moxley, but doesn't get it. Oh boy, here we go again, and oh, another one. Boy, Moxley just got nailed with two of those up, bad boys. And oh, what is a oh, super kick party we feel coming? Oh gosh. Oh, Moxley just ate, just ate a super kick. Wow. Oh boy, sharp, oh, oh man, sharpshooter. Oh jeez. But Moxley rolling out of it, beautiful. And Matt, get, uh, Matt helping his brother out of that pinfall. Oh, right there in that uh, Kingston with that arm getting nailed. Tonic saying the family, saying the family involved, but I hope uh, I escaped alive. Love Tonic. Oh my gosh. I hope I read that correctly. Oh, Fisherman Suplex. Shades of Mr. Perfect right there, but then go for the pen. Now he's going for the pen. And that's it. Mox and King have won the Young Bucks dream of a gender dream match. Good. Thank you, Moxley and Kingston. I greatly appreciate it. I wanted those little quads to lose. They, they really made me mad in the last episode, Duke. They pissed me off. Yeah, I know. They, uh, they, yeah, they kind of like, uh, got on your nerves. Wow, Moxley and Kingston are, are victorious. Big win. I'll tell you how much right now. What a way to start off the show. That means in the next segment later on, they will get the face off against Wolfpack for the tag team titles. Now oh, that's gonna be nuts. Uh, 
All right, folks, get ready. We got another great matchup coming ahead here. X Division Championship, Bruce Bryant against Blue Arrow. And Blue Arrow, he was going to face Pierce Perch, but Pierce Perch says he doesn't wrestle Saturdays. I guess he sounds like Bob Geld out of a dinner. Oh, so there was a contender's ladder match that was uh happened between Kazarian, Bruce, and uh Sammy Guevara, and Bruce Bryant won. So now Bryant's gonna be facing off against Blue Arrow right now. This is going to be a good one. Now, oh, fans, you know what? Let me pull some plugs here. Shockwave Wrestling. Backyard Living, The Wolfman, RC World, Mad Sinister Macau, Before GTV. Uh, what else? Uh, Got Mark 76, Iron Taylor Taylor, Christopher Hovis. Then also you got Vince McSham, of course, among some of the people. On, uh... On uh, was it YouTube, and then on Twitch you got Fetch Quest, Jack Napier, Furry Nine Twenty One, uh, Prince McCall, Iron Taylor Seventy Four, and oh no, Captain Awesome Nineteen Seventy Four, and Dust Killer Thirty, and then on Facebook you got the Wonderful World of Kickstart. What the heck? Fez Tonic's dad was arrested this afternoon in conspiracy? What the heck is going on there? Oh boy. Are you kidding me? Boy. Oh jeez. Wow. Josh Tonic? Wow. Yeah, it's a little cold in Philadelphia. I'll admit to that, Duke. Yeah, definitely. And here is the X Division champion, the Blue Arrow. Yeah, like I said, Richard is supposed to go against Pierce Perch, but Perch says he does not wrestle on Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Wow. But uh, as a result, another star gets a benefit, and that his name is Bruce Bryant tonight. He can be holding double gold tonight if he beats uh, Arrow for the X Division title. Right you are, Allie. Right you are. I'll tell you that much right now.
And here we go, folks. We should have another great matchup. We should have a great matchup here, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, Josh Tonic has admitted that no females are involved. <sighs> Sounds good. And Blue Earl go right with Bruce Bryant. Oh man, and uh, Brian with a beautiful kick to Blue Arrow. If anything, this should be a great matchup. And I'll tell you what. And now we got Leapfrog and no, no, res yeah, no uh, result. And right now, uh oh, Arrow's got, oh, and Arrow with a beautiful bridging back suplex, but didn't go for the pin. I'll tell you what, this should be an interesting matchup. These guys are both fast and explosive. No doubt about it. Let's call it what it is. Yeah, Red Foreman speak on the innocence of his daughter, saying that they didn't want their dad to be hurt. Whoever let out that piece of evidence, whoever let out that information is full of it. I agree, Duke. I mean, uh, it would be really surprising that one of those daughters would want, them, want uh, their dad to be hurt. No doubt about it. Oh man, Scott's gonna need blood soon or else he's gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Well Josh better start speaking about uh who's got uh who's got tonic. That's no doubt about it. If he's any kind of brother. <sighs> this is turning to you know I know this is Halloween, but this is this is one horror story we did not want to happen during the holiday weekend. No doubt about it. And right now watching the pin and Blue Arrow could not keep him down yet. Will Bruce Bryan find his way out of that? And of course Scott Tonic, you don't know who he is. He's one of the great investors of uh, WCW. Wow, a lot of blood in the pool. And a pool of blood in the house. A huge pool. Oh, my gosh. Well, trying to close this one up. And no, cannot do it. And uh oh, what's going on? Oh, form of page turner. Bruce Bryant going for the pin. Oh, almost. Wow. Brody will be here later on, yeah. He's got a match. We just see him come in the arena. Oh, missed the double stomp, oh boy. And Arrow's gonna take advantage of that. Oh man, what an elbow. Oh, gosh. 
Nasty gut buster, and now, oh man, Bruce with a counter. Told you this one's gonna get it. This one's gonna get really interesting, no doubt about it. The longer it goes, the more interesting it's gonna get. And what a German suplex! I swear, if I hear that word "fake" one more time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock somebody. I'm gonna knock somebody with a fake back slap. That's gonna be real. Oh, <laughs> you don't like what's going on in the forum, do you? No. Too many, uh, too many words of the fake. Oh, Pele kick. And Arrow. Oh, Arrow guts got hit with the elbow. And Bruce Bryan looks like he might be wearing down quickly. He's gonna hope maybe he can win this match. Put an end to this. No. Wow, are you kidding me? Oh, he gets caught, and oh, man. Blue air driver. No, couldn't keep him. And Arrow kicking Bryant down. And Melody now telling uh, Fatal that she's sorry for all, all she, uh, all she did. And Fatal is not having. Uh, I guess I heard in the back, Fatal is not having any of it. You know, what is, what's Melody doing here? That's a good question. Was she called on by somebody? Who knows? Looks like I hear that Fatel's not even acknowledging Melody. She's she's mad. She is just mad. Yeah. Yeah, go on, cry little Melody. You know what? You're the one. I have to say you she was the she was the one that pulled the spark plug on this. Maybe she had nothing involved in this, but she's the one that did not want to get the blessing of Scott and Fatel. And now, Arrow, what's he gonna do? Oh, beautiful pain power bomb. And Blue Arrow retains the title. And now, Castle is taking uh, Melody away in the back as uh, he told Fatal, okay. You know what? I wouldn't blame uh, Fatal. I would not blame Fatal at all. No doubt about it. Broken glass in the parking lot? Good God, what's what is going on? Oh boy. I think they better get somebody to check that out. And Blue Arrow still retains the X Division title. That means he gets a chance now to, uh, if he wants to, he's got any time now he can cash it in for a future world title shot. Yeah, he did do his one defense. That's all it takes. You do that one defense, you get a, uh, you can, you get the right to cash it in for a world title shot. Congratulations, Arrow. This is a very big victory for him. Coming up next, Extreme Rules Tag Team Women's Title on the line. Oh boy. The Diabolical uh, Rue Morgue. Suspiria and Dementia 13. Going to take on Yurahara Shoten. You know what's interesting? I heard we're going to have in this segment the MSW Women's Title in the Chamber tonight. Genocide's going to be defending her title against five other people. And then I also heard, uh, 
On the second segment, the women's universal title is going to be on the line in a chamber. Oh, wow. So the women will have to fight in the cage. Sounds like a Grindhouse movie, Women in Cages. <laughs> and it fits that theme, Grindhouse. Oh, wait a minute. Someone's on the ground where the glass is at? Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. What the heck? <clears throat> oh, jeez. Uh, what the heck? Now we got Van shooting at Frank and Melody, and now they're both being put in the... Uh, they're both being put in the car as paramedics have put both of them in the car. I guess they got shot. Good God. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? How screwed up can this night be? How, how? What the hell? But coming up next, we got the women's tag team title, and this is going to open up some old wounds because Sakura and uh, Yorichi, well, won those women that Rube Borg is the former Tracy Torment. This is going to be interesting, no doubt about it. We got matches going on here, but the thing about it is like there's a lot more chaos going outside of the ring. Oh yeah, definitely. What the hell? You got me. You heard that saying that's you, Fatal, the, sh the, sh uh, the shooter saying, uh, because you escaped your stuffed daughter's gonna die? Oh, good God. What the hell? Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? Oh, Christopher got hit? Oh, man. Good God. And there's the champions right there, Suspiria and Dementia 13. Suspiria's on your right, Dementia 13's on your left. The former Monica Del Rey and the former Tracy Torment. And this is Extreme Rules match, folks. That is for sure. We can all four. We can have all four women in the ring right now. That's the thing about it. Here we go, folks. Should be a dandy. Yeah, that's a good question. Who would attack Christopher? Great. We got Christopher being attacked. We got people getting shot at. What the heck? Good God, it is a playing house. I'll tell you that much right now, Duke. This is not good. And oh! Suspiria with a vicious knee right to the head of Yorichi. That rung her bell. And she doesn't even need a, no a need a ward to sing about it. I need a ward? Yeah, don't you remember that song, You Can Ring My Bell? Oh, okay, gotcha. Which, uh, Suspiria sure did. Good God Almighty, what the hell is going on here?
Duke, there is a full can of chaos open. Hopefully, I got my taser with me. Hopefully, that'll help me. I don't know, Ellie. God knows, maybe you might. Dude, I wonder they got that. I wonder they got a hidden uh, weapon slot over here somewhere. Maybe we might need something else. You're not kidding, Duke. You are not kidding. And right now, Dimension 13 beating up on Sakura while Yorichi's got uh, Suspiria down. Oh boy, if it's a lead, I wouldn't doubt it. Don't forget that main event tonight, winner take all. AEW MSW titles on the line. More bits going against Omega. And I guess Eric Foreman's talking about while he's closing the shop again with MS Born. Oh man, what a kick, a step kick to the head. That's what they call that, a step kick. Yeah, I heard about that, that's vicious. And right now, oh, oh man, nasty kicks to the face. And right now, these sadistic uh, twosome of uh, Suspiria and Dementia 13. Oh, we just call them Tracy and Monica. Because that's who they is. If I would say that, they would uh, come over here and try to gut me or something. Going for the pin, and uh, Sakura breaks it up. April O'Neil discovered Velma recovery. Wow, what the heck? Oh, eat the feet on Sakura. Wow. Marcus is making a call right now, and, uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, and, and, and Dementia 13 with a vicious jawbreaker to Sakura. Oh, wow. And now got a figure four on uh, Yorichi, but Yorichi's turning around. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, man. And Yorichi decided to take the other way and just uh, nail on the leg and... Uh, just pound away. Oh, the agreement. Oh, okay. And oh, oh man, here we go. Oh man, sent to hell. That's what she calls that suplex now. Oh man, Velma's back, but she's still in a coma. Good God Almighty. What the heck? Oh, look at that. Oh, and your heart shows and regains the titles. What a good night for them. Indeed, it was, Duke. Look at that. Hey, the fans are going to be happy with that one. The, the uh, what, what do they call himself again? The sadistic swine? Is that what they call himself? Yeah. Well, I guess you can very much say that. They, they fall to the former champions who regained their titles tonight. Thank goodness. That was an unbelievable win by Yorichi and Sakura showing the... Uh, Fortitude to make it through everything and win that match.
All right, interesting. I guess Marcus is getting done with his call. He's saying that something by him, you, me, and Six Killer knows all about it. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and there you go, folks. There's your new champions right there, uh. The Euro Horror Show to, well, once again, champions, I should say. Indeed, that's a, that is the correct way to say it. Folks, we'll be right back with another great matchup. Stay tuned. As uh, Grindhouse keeps rolling. Oh, man, Tamara Django's come out to the ring. Oh, boy. I think this may, it's going to be on this uh, segment there, Marcus. Yeah. Your matchup is on the segment. That's what they told me in the back. But uh, FBI J uh, agent Tamura Django is here. I wonder what he's got to talk about. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Let's get the ring right now, folks. Well, hello there, folks. Uh, FBI agent Tamara Django here. Also, also main investigator here for all situations that happen in MSW and uh, WCW right now. And I got some updates to tell you about. Number one, we have cleared the charges off of uh, Bethany, Angie Strange, and Mandy Rose. They had nothing to do with the uh, beatdown of their dad from somebody else. We don't know who the hell it is right now. We're, we're working on that. We'll tell you that much right now, so I'd like to tell you that. And number two, uh, right now Melody Tonic and Frank Castle are in the hospital after a fan has shot at them outside the arena. I don't know what's going on with that. I guess Mr. Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke, and Shaggy Rogers has gone after them. But, uh, you know, when we could get some stuff and some updates about it, we'll let you know. And also, uh, Velma, Velma Dinkley is back in the hospital, and uh, but she's, she went back in a coma. I mean, a lot of stuff going on here. I understand it's Halloween. I understand it's supposed to be frightening, but damn it, this is this is just getting too real. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh my gosh, man. And you know, I wish we can find the kidnappers already. Even though we got Josh Tonic in custody, uh, Scotty's uh, a strange brother, the lesser known brother, I guess I heard he was, because uh, he was as famous as his brother Scott. But he's not telling us a damn thing. He says there's no females, which I, you know what, I don't know. I, I find it hard to believe. And another thing is that uh, he says there is uh, like three others. So uh, I don't know what's going on here. And you know, I'll tell you how much right now. Uh, oh man, what else am I supposed to say? I mean, this is just a walk, I, I, walking encyclopedia of bad news, man. Just a walking encyclopedia. But I'll tell you what, even if I have to lose sleep over this, I will keep up to date on it. And basically, you know, we're going to try to find Tonic. We're going to try to find who beat up Chaz Foreman. We're going to find out, we need to find out who shot at Castle and, and Melody. Okay? We just need to do that. Deb, thank you for our cooperating. Thank you for understanding, fans. Wow, Tremor Django's got a lot on his plate. Yeah. Halloween is not going to be a fun-filled... It, it sounds like a bunch of tricks and treats. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, coming up next, Foles Count Anywhere. The former champion, Bradnell Bomber, 
It's gonna it's gonna go against Brody Williams. Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a battle of bulls here. These two. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. You better believe it. <sighs> So, Brown Bomber going against Brody Williams. Let's get to the ring right now for this one. Oh, this one's going to be a barn burner. I'll tell you how much right now. You're going to have two bulls trying to gore each other. No doubt about it. You got one game trying to get back there, tell the other one, trying to keep that title. And there is the bomber. The bomber of Ratnall. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I kind of like you'd say it. Or uh, how well, they were Spanish, saying Spanish, El Bomber de Bratnall. Yeah, something like that, Duke. I don't know what bomber would, I don't know what bomber translate in Spanish, but uh, Bratnall would still, probably still stay the same, no doubt about it. Yeah, this should be an interesting matchup. You're right about that, Marcus. And I guess Eric's... I know Eric's saying... If, wait, Eric's saying uh, if this nightmare... Well, uh, oh, how kind. Eric wants to take a vacation with me. Maybe I might have to put him some for some vacation time. Who knows? Wow, you're really going to go forward with it? Yeah, why not, Duke? I mean, I swear. Why not? And there is Mr. Calm, Cool, Quiet, and Focused, Brody Williams. But he's been grabbing an interesting call to fans as of late. They've been liking what this guy does. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he has uh, really stepped up to the plate. He says, uh, he says he loses. He just goes back and learns what he did wrong. He wins. He just keeps on rolling, he says. And right now, Brody Williams is officially wearing his first ever wrestling title. He's got that similar wasteland belt. Question is, is he going to retain it tonight? This is going to be a good one, folks. No doubt about it. And there's the bomber. And there's the champion, Brody Williams. He is a chiseled person, I'll tell you that much right now. He is toned, no doubt about it. What is, what is he again, Duke? 6'4", 270 pounds. And Look at the tattoos of Venom and Carnage he has on his arm. Venom he's got on the right arm, Carnage he's got on the left.
Deathstroke is handing a gun to Shaggy? Oh, boys. Can we stay with this as this match goes on? Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. A movie with an, uh, a movie with an event. Incredible. The only difference is it's not a movie. Oh, don't worry. In about 10 years, somebody will grab the rights and make a movie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, right now, I'm Bomber going right out of Brody. And, of course, Bomber is the king of these brawls, usually. He has no doubt about it. But Brody's not going to lie down for him. I can tell you that much right now. Let's call it what it is. And right now, Bomber going right out with, uh, oh boy, hammer away on Brody. Oh, and a headbutt. Snap head, oh, and again, another snap headbutt. And Brody gets that, gets that shaved head, so that means, uh, basically, Bomber's going to be catching, but nothing but forehead from uh, Brody. Yeah, he is, And uh, but look at Bomber. Oh, power slam. And the bomber, they do not dance, do not like them. Oh, and another headbutt. Oh man, another belly to belly. Crap on a stick. Oh man, and here we go, folks. Wow. And oh, Brody going to work and oh, pile driver. They call that move the game changer. No doubt about it. But uh, it wasn't enough to take down Bombers. Bomber manages to bounce back, but we all know Bomber. The, the Mastodon he is, but you know what? He can take a lot of punishment. There's no doubt about it. Oh boy, they're calling back up. Oh boy. Oh man, this is unbelievable. Oh, and Brody with a, oh, oh man, and Brody tried throwing Sherbach and just got pounced off. Well, Bomber is a, uh, Bomber is, he's got the equivalent strength of a brick wall, most definitely. And Brody tried playing wrecking ball and it didn't work. Oh man, right there, and look at Bomber kicking away. Oh, back fist. Kind of you Kingston with back fist to be the future. Yeah, that's for sure. I was just going to say the same thing there. You, uh, you read my mind on that one, Ali. Oh boy, what's Bomber going to. Oh no. Oh, pile driver. Good God. Oh man, are you kidding me? Damn. Bomber's gonna try to kill this kid. Oh! Going for the pin. ECW rules it is. No, he gets out. Wow. Oh man, and there's a bo back body drop. Oh, Suplex City. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. And Bomber is hurting. Yeah, no doubt about that. After getting those uh, things. To, oh, but Bomber fighting back still. Throws him back in. And Bomber going to the top. This is not like Bomber. Oh, he got him in the claw. Oh, oh my God. He got him in the claw.
Oh, Bomber found his way out of it. Wow, but that was beautiful how Brody caught him. Yeah, it was. Oh, man, and Brody gets one over. Scooby-Doo, no jumps the door. Officers get the dog off of me, and oh, man, another one. They must have caught another one. Hello, Captain Awesome. No, man, unbelievable. Oh, man, nasty. That was a hell of a gut wrench. Oh, and Bomber sits right down on Brody's sternum. I hope he didn't eat before this match. No, he'd be, uh, that'd be all regurgitating on him, no doubt about it. Wow. What did they find? I hate riddles. Oh man, Brody! Wow! Going for the claw again! And he's working ahead of Bomber, and that's it! Bomber just went limp, and that was it! Wow! Brody Williams wins again! Kid's gonna be something else, I swear to goodness. Brody Williams is gonna be something else. That is unbelievable. To defeat a veteran like the Bomber, that is a major win. He definitely did pass out, he didn't tap. No doubt about it, his arm went limp. If you've seen the replay, I wonder if they'll show it here. Oh boy, they found Tonic, wow. Scott Tonic has been found, ladies and gentlemen. WCW investor and MSW alumni Scott Tonic's been found, but he is going to the hospital. Wow, are you kidding me? And there's your winner right there, Brody Williams. Congratulations. Stay tuned, folks. We got no more action still to come. Yeah, who, who did it? Well, besides Josh Tonic. Coming up next, Frankie Gazarian against Marcus Cassidy. Two all three falls match. That is a cool looking Daredevil costume. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. I like it. Adam Strange says that his dad just left the hospital with Mystery Driver. Oh boy.
Here we go, folks. Get ready for this one. I'll be right back on use the facilities real quick. And there he is, folks. Frankie Gazarian. And there is Frankie Gazarian right there waiting for action. It's a Decepticon, good God. <laughs> Man, you know what? Like I said, if you want to watch, uh, you want to watch this, you watch it on Twitch. I mean, the, uh, the, uh, was it the forums or something else? Oh, no doubt about it, Duke. And this should be a good one. And Dare and Daredevil, uh, takes Kazarian and pushes him off. And right now a beautiful side headlock by the champion. Daredevil, AKA Marcus Cass. Indeed. <laughs> I'm get the owl bots, oh my gosh. And now another headlock there by the champion. Color and oval lockup. And oh man. Beautiful. Beautiful takeover. And right now, Cass gets put in the corner and now. Oh, Cutter! Oh man. Kazarian looking to make a big impact here in this second chance against Cass here. That is for sure, I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, yeah. And right now, Cass going to work here. Sure is.
And right now, Cass going for the pin. This is two out three falls. I think I, I think if I'm correct, that's what I heard. Two out three falls. And roll over again by Ka Cass on Kassarian. And now got the beautiful side headlock there. Marcus Cass trying to keep this at his own pace because he knows how explosive Kazarian could be. But of course, we also see how resilient Kazarian could, could be. No doubt about it, Allie. No doubt about it. And right now, Kazarian's got him in trouble. Oh, and a leg drop. Kazarian, a veteran of the uh, Western Circuit. Besides here in AEW, he was also wrestled in Ring of Honor and TNA or Impact when it was known as TNA. Oh man, there's a power bomb by Kaz to break, break that momentum. Indeed it was. Gunstone and Rip City, wow. Oh, and Kazarian get it going here. Wayne Lawrence under a rust, oh wow. Oh wow, oh my gosh. And Kazarian, what is he playing for here? Oh boy, is he going for the flux capacitor like he used to do in the old days? I don't know, that's a good question. Oh man, he missed a drop kick. And he pays for it with the getting flatlined. Yeah, who is Wayne Lawrence? That's a good question. And Kazarian's got him set up again. It's gonna, it's gonna fall through this time, or is he gonna? Oh, he, oh man! Oh, oh. Okay, Lauren says that he's uh, what well, he was in the van. He wasn't in the van. Oh, missed it! Wow. And right now we got kick. Oh, these guys better be careful. Oh man! Oh man! Falcon arrow by. No, Kazarian kicks out. Wow. I'll tell you what, Kazarian giving Cass what he wanted, his best. Could be it. 
And Kazarian grabs the first pinfall. Wow. Cass has got a lot to... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? What's going on here? Oh, what the heck, Ricky Morton? Are you kidding me? What? Oh my gosh. Wow. What the heck? That was shocking. Out of nowhere, Ricky Morton comes in a ring and DTs him. What? What the heck? What does Ricky Morton have to do with this? Are you kidding me? Oh, horrible, man. Just horrible. What is going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Kasarian is now the Great Lakes champion. Holy cow. Unbelievable. Oh boy, Scott Tonic, uh, face is cut all open and one eye is missing. Ooh, what the hell? That was totally unexpected. I'll tell you that much right now. That, that was unbelievable. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I, I'm thrown off. Ricky Morton came in there and DDT'd Marcus Cass and cost him the title. That was a... I don't... What the heck? That's going to be... You know what, Duke? That's going to be one of those very unexplained things. What? What happened? Oh, my God. <laughs> But coming up next, we got the Tri American Tag Team Championship. We got Sting and Resistor, Crossbones Incorporated, going against Red Dawn. In the corner for the Sting and, and uh, Resistor, it's going to be Darby Allen. In the corner for Red Dawn, Barry Windham. I have no freaking. And I guess uh, Kazarian's trying to explain to Cass that he has no freaking idea why Ricky Morton, uh, Ricky Morton interfered. What the heck, man? I'm throwing off. Wow. <clears throat> Ricky Morton of all people. Are you serious? Yeah. Ricky Morton. Yeah. We're shocked. Yeah. Wait a minute, folks. Uh, you know what? One of the maintenance guys just told me something. Wait a minute. 
Oh, wow. Congratulations, Iron Taylor. Wow. Nick Jackson, what are you doing out here? Did you see my greatest trick in the book? Uh, you know, I, uh, I told Kenny I was going to do something really great tonight. And you know what I did? I came out in my favorite Halloween costume as Ricky Morton. Came out there and I ruined a great matchup between Kazarian and Marcus Cass. Oh my gosh. Cass wanted to roll with the Elite. Guess what? He's got one. <laughs> He's got one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. That, you know, just remember, Duke, that's going to be the greatest moment in this grindhouse card tonight. Doesn't matter about Scott Tonic coming back. It doesn't matter about anybody else. It matter about me. Really, Marcus's cat, Marcus cast his chance of being a great, great Lakes champion. <laughs> Unbelievable. And oh, super kick by Cass. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, the war is starting. Holy cow. And Turnus has got the headlock on Resistor. Resistor backs him in the ropes. I like Turnus's hair, dude. He looks kind of like, like, Kind of like a, a brown haired version of Sheamus. <laughs> yeah. But I cannot believe it. that's disgusting. Nick Jackson dressed up as Ricky Morton to uh, basically cost Marcus Cast a match. Sweetness now is all the baby shower. Am I Ronnie? Huh? Hey, do, uh, hey uh, Ronnie, uh, Duke is at. I, it, this is Duke Calloway here. Uh, Ali Govez asking if, uh, yeah, if, if uh, Ali Govez asking if she's invited to the baby shower. Pinhead and Freddie not real names. I, you know, I wouldn't figure that much. Thank you, Ronnie. Oh boy, Marcus has just grabbed the mic now. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. Boy, if that's not a swerve I saw by Nick Jackson, then I don't know what the hell is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and right now, Kyle better take it to a resistor. Where this resistor is. Now Murray too, who is the driver that picked up Chaz? And now Marcus has just told uh, the elite if they want a war, they got one. I guess they do now. That was like the straw that probably broke the camel's back. Oh, no doubt about it. And I was enjoying that match. Kazarian, you know what? Wow. Kazarian's got to feel really bad. And right now, Tags and Stinger has, oh, Stinger with a nice knee to gun and now a clothesline.
Wow. That's Cobra Commander driving. Oh my gosh. This uh, Halloween story just getting screwed up. Problem is, it's not a Halloween story. Yeah, definitely. It's not one being played in the theaters, folks. And Kyle Banken playing a little, getting him played a little quiet riot on the head. And now, making a tag is going to be Terminus. Oh, and Terminus just runs over Sting like a freight train. And Frankie is coming out here. As uh, looks like uh, right now, Turnus taking it to Sting as they're trying to. Uh, we re retained our title here tonight against this veteran duo. And Sting kicks out. And the line could be coming up here, folks. Oh, and Stinger got busted open. And Resistor breaks it up. And I guess we just got signed with a match for uh, this coming Wednesday. Tag team matchup. It is going to be Kazarian and uh, Marcus Cass to go against the Young Bucks. Oh boy, that's going to be interesting. Should be a good one. Oh man, Scorpion Death Drop. And Wyndham's not liking what's going on here. He shouldn't be, but Stinger is a veteran. And Turnus kicks out. That shows good sign of resiliency right there by the big uh, man, uh, Terminus. And right now, I'm making a tag to resist her. And he's telling you, now he's telling Kazarian, do whatever you want with that championship. I guess Kazarian's saying that after their match at the box, he wouldn't mind defending it against Cass and making a fair match. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard Kazarian thought that was whole horse crap that just happened in that match. You know what the Bucks did? They ruined a classic match, what could have been a classic matchup, and I thought it was a classic matchup because both those guys were really resilient in that matchup. Oh, no doubt about it. Instead, the Bucks decide to ruin it for their own play, for their pleasure. You know, I don't like this elite group. Ever since they start, they came over here. It seems like now uh, they're causing all kinds of trouble. All right, I guess that's what's going to be. I guess Wednesday they're going to tag up and then. Next uh, weekend on the big event, they're going to, yeah, Kazarian's going to defend the title against Cass.
Oh man, snake eyes by Stinger, and now a, ba a jab and another jab. And Fatel is wondering who gave uh, her the ring. Yeah, good question. Oh, wait a minute, is that the ring from the office? I heard something about that, gotcha. Oh boy, Cass says he's going, he's going buck hunting, oh boy. Oh, and uh, Resistor breaks up the uh, pin that uh, Kyle tried to do with the Rams feet on the ropes. And I guess if the referee doesn't see it, you know what? And I, uh, you know what, I know, I'm, I've been pretty honorable as I will admit to it. But uh, I guess uh, if the ref, if you know, if the referee does a seat, then uh, that's what's going to happen. Going for the pin. Here we go. Oh, and Sting could not get the three count. Wow. And right now, Darby Allen looked out and worried as his mentor is getting pounded by Kyle Bennett. And oh, Russian leg sweep. Shades of Brad Armstrong right there, folks. Remember, he was one of the guys that used the Russian light sweep as a finisher. Made it look very effective. He sure did. Oh, here he goes. Camel clutch time it is. And Sting passed out. Red Dawn wins and retains the title. Barry Windham's got these guys rolling on all cylinders. Congratulations, Terminus and Kyle Bennett. That was a hell of a matchup. That was a hell of a matchup. No doubt about it. Indeed it was, I'll tell you what. Let's put it this way, I mean, Red Dawn has been fine it's being tuned like a fine wine as in the tag team rankings by Wyndham. And there you go, congratulations, there's your winners right there. And they're excited, they get overly excited that the referee look, looked a little scared, but uh, they, I think the referee understands how excited they were about win, uh, keeping those belts tonight. Still your tag team champions. There you go right there. Red Dawn. Well, coming up next, they're going to set the chamber up for the first of our two uh, women's elimination chamber matches. Here we go, folks. What the heck is that that's along in that uh, chamber? Okay, I see we've got Shido, we got Susie Chow, Baker, Genocide, Miss Wonderland. But what the heck is that in the pink outfit? From what I heard, she's a new international sensation called the Pink Beetle. Oh my gosh. And Sweetness just stole Iron Taylor's car. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. She, You know, I don't know why she's doing that right now because she's got a matchup coming. She's got a Universal Women's Title Elimination Chamber. All right. So we got a pink beetle. That's going to be in this one. What the heck? Wow. Oh, Mark knocking on the door. The uh, Looks like it might be the Young Bucks locker room right now. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to get something. This is going to get interesting, folks. Oh, boy.
Yeah, so Britt Baker's going to first try at the MSW women's title tonight. Wow. Oh, man, and uh, Cash just went batter up on the box. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we knew this was going to happen. You know what? They should have kept their nose out of there. Oh, my phone is ringing. What's going on here? Oh, boy. Hold on, Duke. I got to take this call. All right, well, while he's taking a call, we're waiting for this Elimination Chamber match to happen. And Cass right now, I hear her swinging like a madman on the box. Oh, good God. What the heck? It's Chaz Foreman going into hell none can stop? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Folks, Ch Chaz looks like he's on some kind of... Oh, my gosh. He's telling, he says, tell Viper I love her. Oh, good God. And here we go, folks. Got Miss Wonderland, the tri American champion, but her title is not on the line tonight because she is going for the world women's world title tonight, held by genocide. Miss Wonderland, one of the most popular women's wrestlers there is right now. Oh, you better you better believe it. Oh, jeez. He just curb stomped one of the Bucks' head into the chair. Oh, my Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cass is definitely going Buck hunting. He said he was. And he was not kidding. And there's Miss Wonderland. Who's coming up next here? Oh, Dr. Britt Baker, the AEW Women's Champion. And there she is, folks. The girlfriend of, uh, what's that already? It's named from the Bucks, of, with the Bucks that hangs around with them. Oh, Adam Cole. Yeah. And here is Genocide. Wow. Genocide is, uh, who's going to be the other one that's not going to be in that cell? Susu Chow. So we're going to start with Beetle and Sheeta. And the fans are booing here because I don't think I think they don't know who the hell the blue this pink beetle is. Oh wow. And here comes the crew. Here comes Sheeta. And the Beetle trying to put out Sheeta's lights there in this matchup. Oh boy. Rocker dropper, okay. We're seeing what this woman this woman's mystery set is a mystery. Ah, oh, Chris Bat's gonna meet Fatella at a coffee shop, okay. Oh wow. And right there now putting the putting it putting putting the nerve hold on Sheeta there. Oh man, earthquake splash, wow, oh man, 
putting the knees right to her. Wow. And who is coming out next? Susu Chow comes out next. Here we go. Oh wow, yeah, I guess so. Wow. So sorry to hear that. Got Chell against Sheeta here now. Battle Japan versus China. Oh man, Sheeta just got wiped out a uh, bulldog by the Pink Beetle. What the heck? Those moves look familiar. And Britt Baker now comes in. Marcus has got some bad intentions of what he's going to do to Matt Jackson. Oh, good God. Oh, jeez. boy. Sweetness now won her mouth. Oh man, and Wonderland's back. Wonderland's in there, and look who gets to be last. Genocide. She's got a good chance of, uh, you know what? She's got a good chance. Oh, wow. Maybe Chaz knows something that we don't know about. Who knows? Oh, everybody's getting rammed around. Get a, get a little game of ram around. Oh, man. Self sight from Susu. I'll call it what it is. Yeah. Yeah, he can't do it by himself. What the heck? Britt Baker just got ran into the uh, mesh of the cage. Oh no, I don't want to yell. Wow. Oh man, Shido just nailed a uh, pink beetle. Oh, I think she kicked out. Wow. Boy, Chris Pat's gonna be sleeping in a doghouse today. Oh boy. 
I think somebody went out already. Wow, I only see five people in there. Susu's gone, wow. Oh no, Susu's right over there. Oh boy. Jamie, wow. Somebody just told me that uh, Marcus just curb stomped Matt and uh, there were 14 chair shots. And oh, Sheeta just got rammed in that cage. Oh, and there's a knee drop. Oh, and just I would kick the Susu. And Susu's the first one gone. Ah, oh, jeez. Another earthquake splashed by the beetle. Must be the beetle splash. Stroke. And now, just like a print brick paper. Oh man. Cannot do it. And Wonderland is gone. Still in this one, we still got the first two that start on this rumble. And this fight is uh, Sheeta and uh, Beetle. And Sheeta is gone. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? drop on uh, the beetle no and the beetle kicks out who the hell is this beetle they said some international superstar what country that was never uh, told Genocide gets thrown to the outside. <laughs> Genocide gets thrown to the outside. I love that. That's pretty awesome. Oh man, and Tonic just told uh, them that the doctors cannot fix his face. Oh my god, man. You gotta be kidding me. Can, oh, and Genocide gets her. Genocide just beat the Pink Beetle. Holy cow. 
Wow. Genocide win and retains the title here tonight. Her moves are familiar, I swear to God. Well, folks, there you go. You've seen it right there, folks. Oh, boy. Eric has sent me flowers again. Good God. <laughs> ah, you love that, don't you? And there you are. There's your winner and still champion, Genocide. You know what helped her was, uh, again, number six. Being able to get entered that chamber last helped her. Definitely. Wow. Don't know who it is. I don't, uh, yeah, don't know who it is, Melon. I really don't. But right now we're going to take a break and we'll be right back with more action as we get segment two going. See you, uh, see you in a little bit.